Facebook double faults at break point, and Serena Williams, who was down an early break in the second set, now has the lead 4-2, up a set, two games away from the final eight of this Grand Slam event. And a big serve. Just simply overpowering Arancha in this match. And it's hard to believe that on a red clay court you could do it. But the red clay this year is faster. It's harder. It's playing more like a hard court. Well, we've talked about the physical power of Serena and Venus Williams. We haven't mentioned much about the mental toughness of these two young women. They do seem unflappable. Well, they seem to be making up for lost time in the experience department because, you know, what they lacked in experience in the past, they made up for because of the power and the looseness. But, uh, you know, this year they've played, Serena's played five, uh, six tournaments. This is their seventh tournament, the French Open, and the more tournaments they, put, they play, the more experience they build up. They're only going to get tougher and tougher. It's a scary thought. Serena's 16 and 5 in her first uh, full season, and even at that, not full because of the limitations. Oh. Just wide. Serena felt it might have clipped the outside of the line. And we'll ask Stefan Apostolou to check. She didn't feel that was the mark. As you look, uh, 1997 in October in the mid 400s, by the end of the year in the top 100, you can see a steady progression in the world ranking and currently 27. I don't think any other players made a jump like that as far as I know. I mean, that's less than a year. And with her performance here, she'll move probably into the top 20. <laughs> 30 all, still just six points from victory. Awesome. Doesn't seem intimidated a bit by playing the two-time French champion. Well, no, because she said before, after her match yesterday, you know, I only have seated players to play. I, I should feel no pressure out there whatsoever. Plus, she lost to Arancha 2-1 and one early this year, so she should feel no pressure out there. Arancha is the one with the burden on her shoulders. I mean, she's the one that's won the tournament, that's had the experience. And she feels it. She's playing like she feels it. from 30 love to big point Sanchez Vicario. Arancha just trying to get Serena to hit a lot of balls because she's starting to spray some. And that's Arancha's game, to wait for her opponent to make the error. Late call. Some of the fans here at Suzanne Longland thought it might have been on the line. Boy, the umpires spend probably just as much time out of the chair as on the chair, don't they? they? And he rules that the ball was on the line for serve. It's the only grand slam they get down to check the mark because you can see it so clearly on the clay. Twice as many break chances for Serena Williams. Testimony to a high level of play on her part. You know, they're not trying to hit winners off every ball. They're playing the points so well and waiting for the opening. Here she comes in at the right opportunity. Nothing fancy, just a short volley and wins the point. 
Deuce at 4-2 in the second. And when she loads up that forehand, you well, better be ready. Right, any mid-court ball or when she has time to get a racket back, she'll go for the winner. A point from 5-2. Up a set. Just missed. A lot of close <laughs> calls in this game. Well, no margin for error. They're just, they're trying to go for the lines. Ooh. So that should have oh, been an boy. ace. And Arancha argues that's the wrong mark. Oh, boy. Oh, you got four people involved in this one. Two serves. <laughs> Serena Williams, a game away from joining her sister Venus in the round of eight at the French Open. Hey, here at NBC, we understand that you probably missed some and so excited by that victory, she purchased a young puppy and named it Roland Garros. And uh, that dog still now full grown, uh, attends many of her matches. It's, it's watching her match probably right now, too. <laughs> Sits with her mother, Marissa. And it might be whimpering a bit oh. in surprise as Serena Williams won the opening set 6-4 and now leads 5-2 in the second. So Arantia with a pressure on her to serve to stay in it. I find it interesting, Chris Everett, that Serena Williams at only 16 has learned something a lot of the American men have not been able to figure out here at Roland Garros if they're going to play slow ball play slow ball back just wait for your opportunity so often in some of the rallies where Rancho wants you to just keep hitting at her pace she's done that until she's gotten the opening to hit the winner you know the women are just better all-around players I mean the top women can play on all surfaces we're not as specialized as the men I mean you either have one extreme serve and volley or like a Pete Sampras you know, or you have a, a Rios or a Costa who are just totally clay court players. So it's just a lot different. You can't really compare the two men's and women's tennis at this time. 30-15. This would be a shocker if Serena Williams upsets Sanchez Vicario. You know what, though? It wouldn't be a shocker to the people inside the tennis world who really know the game and know the results because Serena's had the third best results this whole year and Arantxa is still playing defensive. I mean, this is good enough to have won the French Open five or six years ago, but she's not playing well enough nowadays. You have to be aggressive. You have to hit the ball hard and go for winners. She does, and then misfires long, 30 all, and two points from victory. Serena Williams. Crowd trying to get Arantxa motivated. Although, for the most part, throughout this match, they've been uh, more healthy in their applause for Serena Williams. of young players, Martina Hingis, the Williams sisters, Kornikova, what they do no, so the great ball. is they're great defensive players as well as offensive players. And you haven't seen that. You know, in my era, we had great defensive players. And Martina's era was great offensive players. But now you see the whole package. Unfortunately, Arantxa hasn't gotten to that next level of, of learning how to play offensively. Okay. Martina Hingis falls in that category as well. So tough offensively and defensively. 
All teenagers. Well, tennis has reached a new level. It's a higher level than we've ever seen. So Sanchez, Vicario, digs in, holds. It's 5-3. And talk about pressure. 16 years old and a chance to step up now and hold your serve and win this critical round of 16 match against the former champion. Sanchez Vicario seizing the opportunity to come to the net and volley. This is the toughest game of any match, is it not? See how Serena handles the pressure, though. Now she also has to win the match, as well as Arancha losing the match. Serena, I, ha I have a feeling she's getting a little tentative. Zero chance. Her strokes seem to lack the zip that they had in the first set and a half. Her second serve, she seems to be pushing in. Beads rattling as she bounces between shots. If both sisters reach the quarterfinals, it would be the first time since 1993 U.S. Open where the Maleva sisters reached the quarters. side that goes off though under pressure she gets a little bit tight yeah, Arantxa nearly 10 years older now 26 Spanish veteran. And that has to be nerves and the feeling of pressure. Out. She normally doesn't make errors like that. Arancha senses an opportunity here, an opening, and you don't want to let her have any openings. for Sanchez Vicario. They're back on serve, 5-4 in the second. Court, Suzanne Lungland. Arancha Sanchez Vicario using all of her guile has rallied from 2-5 down. Serena Williams with the match in her grasp and now with the break in the last game, Sanchez Vicario on serve at 4-5. Sanchez Vicario and Oakland. You don't want her to get back to this match because how many times have we seen her in great comebacks? It's important for Serena to close it out right now. She had a 5-2 lead. She looks a bit tentative to me. She's pushing the ball.
0-30. And Serena Williams once again is just two points from victory. Arantxa Sanchez at the net, not where she really wants to be. She's pretty vulnerable up there. sideline. Well, that was inches from Love 40 in three match points. Rancha really starting to hit out. She senses that she has to do something different. She's not playing a winning game up until this point. She's been playing the waiting game, defensive game. So just hit out and go for broke. and that was for two match points. And can it be that experience indeed will be the mighty factor in this one? She's feeling the pressure, Serena Williams. She's played the last three games like a completely different player than she played the first set and a half. Forehand side's vulnerable right now. Boy, that Arantxa, she's so tough mentally. She senses the vulnerability of Serena right now. She's not going to let go of this. Vicario has rallied from 2-5 down. It's 5-all. Now, there were times when you didn't have all the great experience that paid so many wonderful dividends for you, uh, Chris Everett. Where did you learn? What, what do you learn from the pressures and, and being able to close out a match and not push the ball? My first French Open final, I had Margaret Court 5-3 in the third and I lost a 7-5 because I played it too safe. I got too tentative. So you just have to learn from that. I mean, that's the way. She has to start hitting the ball like she was the first set and a half because being tentative is not in her nature. But boy, Dick, those nerves, sometimes you have no control over your body and you just, you don't, you know, you make errors, you get tentative, you just can't get a hold of yourself. That was a tight shot there. And another. It's easy to play, not to lose. And even at the highest level, and all of us hackers know that. Well, this is a lack of experience. I mean, this is what everybody, all the critics said. Yes, the, the Williams sisters are great, and they were held back from junior tennis, from competition. But it's going to take them a little longer to get them into, you know, Big competition, pressure points, big matches, and it has. By all means, not lost this match, but you know she came oh, into the match saying to everybody, "I'm going to be loose and relaxed." You know she's a seated player, but boy, then you get out on the court and you have the seated player, and you're in a winning situation, and sometimes it's overwhelming. The mere aspect of a, a big upset like this. Mm, good sir. And Arantxa, on the other hand, isn't doing anything special. She's just getting the ball back deep. She knows she doesn't have to do anything special. She's a smart player. 
and she's keeping young Serena Williams on court nearly two hours already in this match. like Arancha's plan oh, is just to keep getting balls in the court. Serena, I even watch her moving. She's not as light on her feet as she was earlier. She looks a little bit frozen at this point. And the Barcelona backboard just keeps throwing it right back on the other side. Sanchez Vicario almost out of the championship. She now leads 6 5. Six games almost equivalent to serve. She's next in regard to the final eight. She's won again today, Schneider. 6 1 6 3 over Maui Serna from Spain. So Schneider's run continues as we return to Suzanne Longlin. And 6-5 serve, Sanchez Vicario. What a comeback for her. Boy, Patty Schneider, I saw her almost beat Monica Sellis at Hilton Head. And boy, it's great to see another lefty on the tour. Ever since Martina left, we haven't seen too many of them. <laughs> Meanwhile, hoping Serena can get her nerve together in this game. This is it's oh, painful to watch because, you know, as a tennis player, we've all been through it, you know, succumbing to the nerves. And everybody reacts differently. I mean, some players go for more shots. Some players get too tentative like I did. Some can't move their feet. How did you react, Dick? You start aiming. I start aiming and doing just exactly the results of the same as Serena Williams. The ball, instead of staying in the court, flies long. Oh. Every tennis player has been through it. Such a big difference between playing to win and playing not to lose. That's why the game is so mental. You know, everybody stresses technique and physical fitness, and I think all that's great and very important, but I'm, I'm almost thinking that it's 60% mental, this game of tennis. And you have a woman in Arancha Sanchez Vicario who's not going to beat herself. No, she's an example of how the game is mental. Oh! Although a couple oh, unforced here to get to 30 all. Now two points from a tie break for Serena Williams. And now she's playing to hold the set, to win the set. It's a little different. She's in a winning position. Can't find that range. I mean, she's either hitting the bottom of the net or she's hitting the just totally lost her timing. And this match already two hours old and a point away from a third set. <laughs> and what a rally by Arantxa Sanchez Vicario from 2-5 down. She wins the second set 7-5. Well, he's brash and his game is bold. Coming up, the South American sensation, Marcelo Rios. Just later when they built this facility to accommodate the Davis Cup in the late 1920s. Uh, we rejoin action and Serena Williams with this match in her grasp, but the great rally in the second set by Arancha Sanchez Vicario to capture 
the second set 7-5 from 2-5 down and then Arancha broke Williams in the fourth game of this third set and leads it 4-2. 2-4-15 love. No time running out now on Williams. Still a chance, but uh, one wonders after the despair of that second set if she can erase that from her memory bank. And Arancha, meanwhile, has the same game plan that we've seen this whole match, and now she's just she's oh, not doing anything little. any differently. She's hitting down the middle, not trying to go for any big shots, because she knows that Serena will make errors and that she is tight. Caught the line. That was an aggressive backhand to 40 love. We saw a lot of those backhands the first set and a half. Her sister Venus successfully through to the quarterfinals with her win today. No football called on Serena Williams. She's not hitting her, so she's pushing it in there. A rare call of football. First we've seen it the entire uh, first week. Oh! oh that ball went right through Arancha Sanchez Vicario. She has the whole court. Where does she hit it? Right at Arancha. <laughs> Good thing it didn't hit her. Would have been Serena's point if it would have hit her. So to 40-15. Another nervous forehand. Williams holds, it's 4-3. Sanchez Vicario in the third. And now the working definition. This veteran Arancha Sanchez Vicario mustering quite a rally from 2-5 down to capture the second set, 7-5, and lead serving here 4-3 in the third, but up that single break. kiss for Serena Williams, the double fault. Well, they're both nervous now at this point. <laughs> Big win for either player. everything. I mean, she wasn't winning from the backcourt, so now she's trying to come into the net. She doesn't want to play a losing game, but even that's not working. That has to be a better approach shot. Good jump, though. She shows her athleticism, but Arancha Sanchez Vicario quick to capitalize on the open court. Look how she's just pushing the ball back, though. She's not hitting it. Vicario. It's her best shot, that draw shot. We've seen that a lot, especially at the French Open. But look at that. She just whips that ball across court. It's almost like she wants to get Serena up to the net because she senses that she's not really moving and changing directions very well. Mm. Found it like broke a string. A, yeah, broke a string. Oh, look at that two and a forehand. You know she broke a string. That's not a normal shot for her. 
bad luck. It's, it's such an important part of this match. Yeah, That's about all she could do. And then Arancha, fortunate to hit the baseline. Boy, Arancha went for a big shot there. She didn't have to go for that big a shot. Now only five points from victory. Arancha Sanchez Vicario. This crowd thoroughly entertained by this match. We'll be rooting for Serena Williams, hoping it will continue on. Arantxa started the match in a black dress and then changed to the white, and her fortunes have improved right. since. With this exception. Ooh. I think they're screaming Serena. Well, the Williams sisters have certainly made an impact on the City of Light. Paris now knows not only Venus, but Serena. Believe me, everywhere they go, every city all over the world, they've made an impact. And they've made a lot of fans with their brand of tennis, their politeness, their intelligence. They're great for the game. Gets it to Deuce here at 4-3 down in the third. You just sense that if she could put together two or three points in a row, she'd get, regain that confidence because that's the name of the game in this match is that she's just lost her confidence and her belief in herself. Now the ball was wide, missed the center line. Well, you just can't play the ball down the middle of the court to a rancher. that just did drop inside the baseline. Oh, what a crucial point that was. A point now for 5-3. Had a lot of action on that shot. She's seeing it all. She's gone to the classroom, the clay court classroom against Arancha Sanchez Vicario under grand slam pressure. Oh. It's a tough examination, and at this point, it's the teacher that's in command, 5-3 in the third. Learning a lot about the mental part of the game, about pressure, about big matches. Tennis isn't all about technique and being in great shape. There is the mental side of the game, too, but she's only 16, and this will come. The more matches she plays, the more grand slams. is to win this game and force Sanchez Vicario to serve it out. A little more pressure when you're the server in that final game than the she, returner. She has to know that Arancha is a little tight, too. I mean, Arancha is putting a few balls in the bottom of the net. Big occasion for both players to reach the quarterfinals of the French Open. That was a, another push serve. Hmm. And Arantxa, relieved, didn't put that ball away like she should have. And Serena on the defensive, you know, a position she does not want to be in. She doesn't know how to, she's not a great defensive player. She's a great offensive player. 
And she almost spooned that over the net. 15 all. And Serena, if she loses this match, will really, really be upset. Uh, you no, know, it's wrong. Hopefully she'll learn by this, but to be up 6-4-5-2, the realization of a big upset probably entered her mind. She probably grew up watching Arancha Sanchez Vicari on TV, winning the French Open two years. Well, think about that nine years ago when Arancha won, she was only seven. <laughs> Together, though. I mean, she hits one and then she gets goes back and resorts to being tentative and pushing the ball for a few points. And then she hits Hold out. Up. I mean, she needs to hit out on every shot. Trying to grab some air. It's been an exhausting duel. Yes, Badly missed on that serve. Sanchez Vicario. Hard lesson for Serena Williams to learn, but better to learn it now at 16 years old oh, and you, not later on at 26. Because she can learn from this. Relax and play your game in pressure situations. Sanchez Vicario with a tremendous comeback win and a heartbroken young 16-year-old Serena Williams so close to victory. The other results in this fourth round, Martina Hingis, no problems against Anna Shmaishnova. She's through to the Elite Eight. She's going to save her energy for later on in the rest of the draw. Venus Williams, 15 months older than Serena, she too had an easy trip against Nagiova. Patty Schneider continues the left-hander from Switzerland. A fairly easy win over Maggie Cerna. A lot of feel with that lefty. And Lindsay Davenport had a hiccup in that second set, but she eliminates the French woman Sandrine Testu. She looks sharper today, but still struggling. I don't pick her to win this at all. So the top half of the women's draw, it'll be Martina Hingis and Venus Williams in the quarters. You said that. Not uh, the final. <laughs> in my mind, the two best players playing in the world right now. And yet to decide the bottom half of that, uh, bottom quarter of that half. And in the bottom half, it's Patty Schneider against Arancha Sanchez Vicario. And the winner of the Martinez and defending champion Moyoli match will meet Lindsay Davenport, the number two seed. Quite a day this Sunday in Paris and more action yet to come. <laughs>